This video will demonstrate how to set up your Zoom session using an external monitor. I'm using a MacBook Air and an external monitor. I'll open up my Zoom se session and my Google Slides. So here's my slide presentation here, and here is my Zoom session over here. Now I'm going to go over to um, the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Now you might have System Preferences down here on your dock, so if you have that, go ahead and click on that. Otherwise, click on the little Apple icon in the far upper left corner. It's just off your viewing screen. But when you click on it, you'll get a little drop-down menu, and you can select System Preferences there. From here, select Displays. And then if your external monitor is plugged in, you'll have this arrangement tab here. If your monitor is not plugged in, you will not see that. So go ahead and click on the arrangement tab and you'll see a little um, image here of two displays. This smaller display is my laptop screen and the larger display is my external screen. So you wanna make sure that this is not checked you do not want to mirror displays in this case. Um, you can move this around if you like. I want it to um, look similar to what my actual physical um, setup is, which is just like this with my laptop on the left and my external monitor on the right. So this is a good setup for me. Okay, once that's done, I can hide that window. Now I'm ready to drag my Zoom window over to my external monitor. I want to keep my presentation slide here, and I'm going to move this over to the other monitor. So to drag any item on your screen, you grab it by the gray bar, and then you can move it around. So I'm going to take it and drag it over to the other screen. So you can see that my slides are still here, but the other uh, window, the Zoom window, has, is now on the other screen, which you can't see, but trust me, it's there. I could drag it back over here, just grabbing and dragging over. Occasionally you might get stuck between monitors um, and the item may not want to drag, so just pull it back to where it was and drag it one more time. Here on my external monitor, I have room to make some adjustments. In the main meeting window, I can see myself and my students. You can see that there are currently only two students in my session, but this is where you would see all of your students in the gallery view. During my session, I want to see my participant list and the chat window as well. So I'm going to click down here at the bottom of the meeting screen. I'll click on participants and that pops open that participant menu. So all my students would be listed here and I could manage them, mute them, any other things that are listed on this more menu for the participants. I'm also going to open the chat and it shows up here also. This is where I can communicate with my students and they can communicate with me. Now, both of these windows by default are attached to the main uh, meeting window, but I wanna pop them out. So I'm gonna click on that little down arrow and then choose pop out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the chat and choose pop out. I can drag the chat over I can enlarge it. I've got enough room because this is my external monitor where I can do all this. I'm going to go grab my participant window because it popped open on my other monitor, on my other screen, on my laptop screen. I just drag it over here and I can do the same thing. I want that one just to be longer but narrower and the chat a little bit bigger. So you can just do whatever you want with it. You can also make move this window around. Just grab any of these to move them around. Grab them by that gray bar at the top there to move them. And then you can uh, make your main window a little bit bigger if you want. Set up however you want. And if you have additional notes that you want to have showing up here, you can do that as well. In my chat window, notice that my font is really big. So I can see and manage it. When I'm working with a session um, and I'm working with my kids, I want to be able to monitor the chat more easily and that large font helps me do that. So let me show you where you can change the font size for yourself. Back over on the main window, 
over here by the video icon, click on the up arrow and select video settings. Then, oh, let me grab those. So they, the settings window opened up on my other screen. It's very easy to just drag it over like this. So it popped open this way. Here, let me open that again just so you can see. By the uh, video icon, click open video settings. And then down here, I'm going to choose accessibility. You'll see that the chat display size is right here. And I've gone ahead and selected 200% for mine. I'm going to close that. So now it's really easy to see those um, um, chat messages. Much more easy to, to read those while I'm also teaching my class. Finally, I want to show you the whole setup from um, just to so you can see my actual physical setup. Right now, I have my um, laptop with the slide presentation showing there. I have my large screen where I have my Zoom window set up. And you can see the chat window and the participant windows over there. And then I even have a, um, an iPad set up so I can watch from a present or a participant's point of view what's happening there. So I want you to see what happens when I go ahead and share my screen. I am picking the screen that I want to share, clicking share. So on my laptop, that, that presentation is now being shared. And if I look at my iPad, I can see what my participants are seeing. They are seeing the screen share. Currently, I'm afraid, I'm sorry to say, that the gallery view disappears. So I've been doing some research on that and have a ticket sent in to Zoom about it, but that may be a limitation right now that when you share your screen, the gallery disappears, which is a real drag. But at least um, you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and stop screen sharing for a moment. And you can see the gallery view uh, comes back.